Hello there, everyone, and welcome back to Equestrian War. I'm your host, Mr. Mucklover. And right now, we're taking a look at a beautiful, beautiful, for now, Carthinian Pact, in which we're so allied with Wing Body. But right now, of course, we have the Hadsland Republic, which we, I think, believe took out the Griffonian Empire last time. But I also went ahead and released the North Griffonian Republic as well, led by Klaus Krog, just because we could. And, well, they don't have a lot of pony power, do they? But I figured just because I don't want to do the resistance, we still have 680 some thousand manpower. We're on service by requirement. And I've just been doing some focuses up here, so it's been not too bad. But we can go to war already with the Northern Tribes. Because at this point, we have a massive commonwealth of Evi. Or Evi. Wow. But we must continue on and justifying against other people, shall we? Communists? Not here. 125 days, that's quite a long time, but that's alright. Let's go and stop training for now. And we should just be able to go kind of right on in if we possibly can. That'd be kind of cool if we could. And, uh, there we go. Not bad. Not bad. Planes, how are we doing up here? 0.3? Not great. Could be better. 0.9? I don't know. We might need some air bases. Lake City leads the River Federation. Oh, that's, they collapse before they'll do so again. Cool, and we could also use quite a bit more fuel. So that's what we're really focusing on here. We'll take some medium tanks because we're out. Because I did edit our tank divisions to actually be 40 combat with tank, or actually using medium tanks, actually, instead. Medium combat, yeah. Medium tanks. So, um, other than that, really not too much has happened off screen. Division Curase, 40 with combat medium tanks. Very nice. Kind of expensive, but it is what it is. Currently, in this war, we've lost 18 guys versus 50,000. That's a pretty good casualty ratio. I've had better. I've had, I definitely had better, but not bad so far. Not bad. Oh, and also, our guys are. Uh, Training, huh? Yeah, maybe don't train guys. If I want to make you guys nice and thick and heavy. Ooh. Uh, but go and do that if you guys can. That'd be great if you guys could. And uh, there you go. You might find some things in the water you could blow up. Okay, I'll choose we've lost a total of 50 versus 90... Uh, 120,000 ish. Not bad. Um, where's our capital? Ah, oh, Frostbell. Okay, cool. 120,000 have died versus 53. I'd say so far that's a pretty good casualty ratio. I could be very wrong. That's pretty darn decent, I'd say. Pretty darn decent. Economy and civilian, and we're almost done now with our uh, stuff right there, too. Very good. Very nice. And, well, 60 versus... Well, I guess really, really did 68,000 damage, but, you know, whatever. It is what it is. Artillery is very good. Get even better artillery, because if we're not hitting enemies as hard as we possibly can and killing them off as fast as we can, are we really playing the game successfully? Probably not, no. Cool, and, oh, and we took Frostbell. There we go. And which up next, we got the next focus done as well. Oh. Well, I'll just take everything here, because we might need to give it to our puppet, so I'm probably going to end up betraying Wing Body for now, but let's continue, because once we took out Skyfall, and we can actually core them, which I need to show you just right now, we can curb the Oligarchs versus Shade Claws with the Oligarchs, which I do want to do, like I said in the last video, just because I want to get more supremacy. Well, the Oligarchs are an obstacle towards our goal in Skyfall. They can also be a reasonable griffins if given the right incentives. The rich and wealthy still hold power in the trade cities, and getting them on our side will prove useful in speeding up cultural integration. An agreement can be struck, surely. Absolutely. The Quillian Republic's up there. But let's go ahead and do this, and work with the FJA, yes. As well, let's close that out. And we can do stuff here. Transfer stuff to North Griffonia. That's fine. I don't want to do the resistance anyway, so. And Aquilization Old Bakken, Griffon, Grift O'Neill. Skyfall and Vlogeland. Nice. Very nice. And we can do all this up too. What is this? Okay, sure, why not? Why not? Oh, develop oil fields? Yes, we love oil here in America. I mean, Aquilian Republic. And recruit op operatives. I never like doing that one. That just seems that just feels like a waste of time, kind of. But since we're here, let's go and do that too. We probably need to call all of our allies in this time, but that's okay. Oh, roads are going to be quite the problem. Um, Silkhorn? Oh, crud. Oh, boy. I just want to build a lot of roads. Skyrim, that's cool. We. I'm looking on screen. Where is it? Oh, you're all the way at the bottom. That Sucarinos, man. I'm looking. We're looking. Just because I don't want roads to be too bad around here. Because right now, they're going to be looking very terrible. Oh, you're already building that one. Good. There you go. Do that, just in case. Go ahead. So, in the meantime... So we're doing well against these guys. We've got about 80 days left, which is totally fine with us. We're improving ourselves as much as we can. We're uh, trying to get basically a core on a certain area here as well. And we have 312 support, which is not bad. Ooh, anti-air, very good. And town doesn't really matter that much, honestly. So we're just going to let mostly, most of the stuff just keep going on. Ooh, suicide pills, nice. And we're done with all that stuff, very good. 
And you, I'm going to put you guys right where? Farbrook, maybe? See when he plays Farbrook sometime. Oh, we got a lot of guys here that need some help, huh? Alright, let's take a look. Cool. So, and the New Deal. And once we do this, and actually don't do it again, take you guys off. Uh, just go on home. The New Deal. Uh, actually, screw it. We'll do this one first. I want to do restart battleship development. Walter Goldbeak signed the document the Quillian official had given him, before sliding it back across the desk. Thank you for your time, Mr. Goldbeak, the Griffin said, before grabbing it, standing up, and quickly leaving the room. As he watched Aquilian go, Walter pulled out a cigarette and lighter from his desk drawer. After taking a long drag, he turned his attention back to his copy of the agreement he'd just signed. It was quite simple, really, as long as he supported the new government's recent cultural campaigns in Skyfall, they would allow him to keep running his business the same way as before. He really had nothing to lose here, so it was a win-win in his book. Walter felt no national pride or loyalty to Skyfall itself anyway, as long as he made idols by the end of the day, it was all the same to him. After taking another puff, Walter smiled to himself. Maybe the Quillians taking over wasn't as bad as he had thought. Business, as usual. And with the party, 15 more? Yeah, why not? We could use 15 more supporters. We can always use more supporters, right? Whether we're online or in our own real lives. Cool. So we're still making quite a few divisions, which is fine, because we're going to need these guys. So the goal is, oh, the River Federation form. Look at that. Wow, that's a big old federation. For us to basically take out the rest of the, most of the continent, I don't want to fight Equestria and her allies. That would be extreme. Um, I don't want to kill my sanity with doing that, but oh, that's okay. Uh, Pat, yeah, I'll do the Pat. Getting the best anti-air, the best possible anti-air. We've got very good research right now, too, actually, which is muy bueno. Go ahead and do that, too. That's fine. If they're still exercising, I don't really care. Better artillery. We are really just trying to maximize artillery and fuel usage as well. Nice. Better radar too. Cool. It's 1015, everyone. Hope you're having a great year. We're going to keep chugging along, building more roads, and hopefully not suffering too badly from infrastructure. Oh boy, that is not bueno. Oh man, we probably won't get some better logistics too, but now we're stuck with all that stuff. But after this, we're probably going to go ahead and do what? Implement trade regulations? Or compliance, growth, local supplies, required garrisons, or this one for more max factors and local construction speed. Ooh, that's okay. I don't mind doing this one. I like less time, so required garrisons goes up as well as local supplies. Max factors in the state plus one. Eh. I prefer implement trade regulations. Even with how rich Skyfall and the surrounding cities have become due to trade, we cannot allow it to continue unrestricted. New restrictions and regulations will be put into place in Skyfall, keeping the hubs of commerce under tight leash. Nice. Which I do like cutting down the times of when we need to uh, equilify some places. We'll put it like that. There we go. Go and do that. Be good. Ah, oh, there we go. Very nice. Three, two. I don't want to really wait anymore. Let's go, 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 go. Because next up, we're probably going to take out Hellquill. Oh, no. Virtue Field. No. Hellquill. 125 days. That is so long, man. That is so long. Oh, we can lower the autonomy of somebody? Yeah, why not? Very good. Alright, we've lost 51 versus... Oh, actually, our allies are doing an extremely good job. You know what would be a stupid idea, but something I just thought of? What if we converted all of our divisions, and if we had enough of the supply, to tanks? That might be a bit extreme, but that sounds extremely fun. Converted all the tanks, because you can. All right, up next, let's go and do Unite the Hill Ponies. Cool. Butting in. Fritz Waywing slumped over on his desk, a claw on his forehead. Various schematics and blueprints littered the room, multiple of which he had been reading and revisiting or revising just a few minutes ago. It was a plan for a new and amazing invention, one he called the microwave oven. Using radio wave technology, the device was able to heat foods to high temperatures efficiently, allowing for easy cooking or faster heating. It would be the future of food, one which he hoped would someday be common in every Griffin's home. Just imagine the possibilities. Unfortunately, those dreams seem like far-fetched fantasies now. The parts he needed to build the machines weren't produced domestically, so he needed to import them from abroad. Oh boy, that's not good working and getting from abroad. This normally would have been a problem, but with the new trade restrictions introduced by Aquilia, he had found few offers for what he needed. All at exorbitant prices. Fritz had pleaded, begged, and bargained as much as he could, but at the end of the day, he had been forced to meet the ugly truth. He just didn't have enough idols to start producing the microwave in the numbers he needed. After a few seconds of silence, he swiped the papers off his desk before slamming a claw to it. Curse those Aquilians, he said out loud. Darn them all, so close to changing the world, my name would have been known all across Griffonia now. A single tear fell from his eyes, he slowly sat back in his chair, folded his arms on his desk, and began to sob. So this is how true freedom dies. Unfortunate, man, unfortunate. 
Electronics! Cool. And some naval stuff. Even though I did say I did want to get uh, some logistics as well. Which we will. We will get some logistics soon. Work with the PDNA. Might as well. Aquilization. Cool. Nice. We like more fuel too. That would be quite good. Alright, so. These guys, we did guarantee them last time. But hey, whatever. That's all right. That's ah, totally okay. And actually, how much do we need for these next couple guys? Uh, no, the province of Califolis. Now that the oligarchs have been dealt with and the trade question has been answered, we can now proceed with the full integration of the Skyfall region. The next shining star of Aquilia, henceforth it will be known as a new, more Aquilian name, Califolis. California? Cool. Less political power, but we get a lot better stuff there, which is very, very good. I did say I wouldn't stop speed, but whatever. Uh, for the stuff like this, yeah, it's fine. Do that one, that's fine. And for this one, go ahead and grab some... None of that. More fuel. More fuel. Infinite fuel. Infinite fuel for everybody. There you go. Even more. Oh, some nice ships right there, actually. And we'll get some 10, 15 ships, too. That'd be good. That'd be very good. There you go. Do that, too. Work with the pat. Might as well. Very, very good. And how much supporters do we have now? 275. That's not bad. And so after this, we're probably going to go ahead and do... Well, are we alienating people here? No, we're not, actually. 1015 heavy ships. Nice, nice, nice. Well, we'll do that after we get the heavy batteries done. So, next, railroad centralization? Why not? All across the new Aquilia, the railways that link the nation are all loosely tied together, separately owned by different companies. To unify this means of transportation in the nation and standardized rail lines, we will merge all these corporations into one state-sponsored entity, easing the construction of new railroads. Well, and uh, isolate, like, what? 50 people? Yeah. But a lot of different states gets all one infrastructure each. Which is not too bad, actually. But, yeah, isolating people is not always a good thing to do. Sometimes you have to do that, but... Not always a good thing to do, man. Not always good. Oh, what, the party? 15? Sure, why not? That's fine with us. Integrate Allié. Yay! Another core. Yay! And we should be able to go to war with these guys fairly soon. I don't mad. I can't imagine they put up too much of a fight, right? Especially if we call all of our allies in, right? Right? I think we're right. We have tons of planes. Holy crud. Do some of that too and do some of that as well. Colossus series. Let's grab some more decryption. Fuel refining. Let's actually go back over here and grab some of that too. Nice. Alright, so since we are still allied, technically, I would still like to take these guys out as well. How long would that take? Why is it always 125 days, man? Oh, wait. Are we... Oh! Okay. Well, that's unfortunate. Well, we could probably still do well against these guys regardless, so. Let's take a look. 2,000 versus 4,000. Oh, no, wait. Hold on. Well, Winged Barty has done a lot of damage. These guys are very, very strong. Incredibly strong. Maybe I underestimated them. Oh, well, that's okay. Uh, you guys, secondary batteries? Yes, dual purposes are awesome, awesome. I love dual purpose. Hope you guys love them as well, because I love them a lot. And we actually have some radar we can throw on you guys now. Fire control, nothing there. Level 4, level 4, level 4. We have more than enough naval XP for this stuff. I already did that one. Level 4. Uh, get level 2, and then level 4. Oh, this is so much better. I love it. Get rid of that garbage. 1, 2. Is that it? That's not it. 3 and 4. There we go. Now, that's pretty nice. Alright, so are we losing here? Alright, then don't start attacking like crazy then. Just kind of hang out for now. Get to the line and hold out. <clears throat> Modern oil processing is nice. Since we're using medium tanks, get the next medium tank upgrade too. Oh! Well, I don't think we really deserve all this, but we'll take it anyways. Because we can. Oh, Quill. Nice. It's weird that we're at war with these guys too, but whatever. We'll deal with it. Just gonna go over there and hang out, hold out. Alright. Establish an Oscrophonian state. Led by who? Carolina Ironclaw. Very cool. And you guys are led by the whole pill. Hill Pony Concordat, Boreal Flame, cool, cool, cool. And since we're down here, go ahead and improve everything we can around this area, so that'd be nice. Get some more of that, get some of that, and get some of this as well. 
Alright, so you guys, we're going to have to defend against these guys. We're going to get the crap beaten out of us. But we'll hopefully use a lot of winged body and soldiers to, with us for that, so. Go cool, just kind of hang out for now. Railway and centralization is very good. We'll come more, come back down and do this. Let's do Project Damocles. If you like to do about that, please go right ahead. There we go. Alright, uh, you guys go over there. We should throw these guys over here, really, but... Um, we should do relatively okay, maybe? Hopefully? I don't know. We'll see what happens. We got a lot of ponies here, though. There are a lot of guys here. Against one... You know, I kind of like that we're fighting only the River Coalition, instead of the 6,000 different guys here. It's good and bad at the same time, just because it's a little more difficult when they're all unified. But... At least we only take out one group. And we also finish our land doctrine as well, so... Let's grab some more stuff here. Such as... Land yard attack, why not? Of course, supplies, the supply situation is pretty god darn awful down here, too, so... Um... Yeah, get up top, guys. Get up top. Supplies are god awful. Oh, you guys go there now. Even though supplies aren't as bad as they really could be, actually. How's the plane situation here? It is okay. It is definitely okay. Lushi. Um, how are our ships doing, actually? Stop doing that. Go home and repair. 5 out of 10. Ah, it's not too bad, actually. And you have nowhere to go, right? So go down there. There you go. Three places. You might find some people down there, maybe. Oh, they did want to attack us a little bit over here, too. <clears throat> Actually, let's take a look at see how much manpower they have. I'm sure they've got a whole bunch. Ah, it's not as much as I thought they would. Not as, not as much as I, as I thought they would. It's not bad, then. Project. Oh! Oh, they're not attacking us. Oh, boy. Cool. And then you guys probably can stop doing that. You gotta hit it right. Just. Oh, that's very weird if you see it, but whatever. Alright, so they're still attacking. Plane wise, how are we doing? We're still doing quite well. Quite very well. Uh, another th 100 fighters would be very good to throw over here, even though we're not actually looking at these guys at all, apparently. There we go. We could use bigger air bases. How many more fighters do we have? Probably. Oh, 7,000. That is a fat number. I love it. Let's just hang on for now. Let them. Oh, Jesus Christ. Wing body. I might just go to war with someone else just to help put these guys somewhere else just because this is looking really bad now. Yeah, we might want to go to war with someone else at the same time. These guys open up a little more. 85, that's not too bad. But for a focus, let's go and do cruiser development. Or the floating fortress now reformed the commandos marines. Nice. So for now, oh, night vision. Actually, can we get some more logistics, please? Oh, we cannot. That is not very good. Go and do that too. Look at those guys. That's fine. Oh boy, that is not good. If that's the case. We might need to pull some of you guys out. Because right now we're still trying to build up some more roads. Carriers are nice. Get to the next level of carriers. That'll be good as well. They're not suffering from attrition at all. Why is that? Huh. That's quite bad. If we're going to war these guys down south. That would be very good for us though. One, two, three, good. There you go. Uh, actually, go right there. Yeah, we definitely can't win over here yet. Um, One versus three, so that's four usually. Yeah, you should push him out. That'd be kind of nice if you actually could. Yeah, you actually might be able to push him out. Or not. Okay, maybe not. Or, yeah, you can. Okay, this is very weird. This is a lot of divisions we're working with. Oh, I wish they would attack us. But, you know what? This, this will be good for us, too. Um, let's take a look. So, we have these guys. We have those guys. Hillfolk League would be nice to take out as well right now. But that wouldn't really help us take these guys out. How about these guys? We'll take these guys out so we can give it to our ally. That's fine. Let's go to war these guys. Or, wait. What was that about going to war with somebody? Oh, oh no. Us. Oh, Irie. Oh, okay. That makes sense, yeah. Not bad. Not removing them from the game would be very nice. Forgot about those guys. My bad. Medium tanks, thank you. And I guess we'll go ahead and do what? Infantry support tank development? Sure, why not? Aquilian phase? Yes. 
Core of the state? Core? Core? Eventually? Yes? Yes? More supremacy? Yes? I'm just going to assume this thing is going to do things automatically for us, so... Not really too worried about that. You guys can stop. Um... Why are you guys over here? Did I take you out? I did take you off the front line. Oh, that's probably a bad idea. But you know what? Screw it. That doesn't hurt our supply nearly as much, so. There you go. We'll let our allies struggle for it for now. Because these guys are going to lose a lot of their strength. How strong is Winged Body now? Because their, their attacks are really bad. They're really, really bad. But they're gone. But they are gone, my friends. Whew. Happy 1016, everyone. They still have some manpower. They are on scraping the barrel, looks like, so which is not good, but... Oh, well. Just in case, you guys. Just, like, form a line back here or something. You know, just in case. Just in case. Because if this weakens wing body, that would be pretty good for us. You know, these guys look like they're getting pretty weak, too. Which we do like. Yeah, five to six thousand manpower, but they might get some more manpower later on. You never know. All right, so we can go to war with these guys. Hopefully, eventually. These guys are nuts. Absolutely nuts. So who are we gonna go to war with? Claims the Badlands. That's fine. You guys. Oh, we're almost ready for you guys. Nice. Oh, we actually have good relations with them, but too bad we're going to kill them off. At least do our best doing so. You know, through Mare Basin, yes, please. And they're led by Venusta Agrella. Nice. Radio. A little bit ahead of time, that's okay. Get some more attack, heart attack and piercing. Better carriers are very nice. Get even better carriers. And then do this and go with uh, that mechanized. Eh. Special forces, why not? Let me just support tank development. The Dassault 76mm. Very good. Go on in if you can. We're doing relatively okay here too. Yeah, these guys. What are the casualties like? We lost 22,000, which is not actually not too bad. Wing Barty's just throwing their bodies at them so hard. We've got off about 100,000 of them ourselves. Not bad. Not too shabby. What's coming up? Let's see if this actually works. Oh, nice. Screw it. I'm just going to take it for myself. Now, with you guys here, I might just make us go to war with these guys, too. Then again, I do want to go to war with those guys down south of us as well. Hmm. Decisions, 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 of course. Uh, you guys can go with that side, too, probably. It'd probably be okay. Mm, there you go. I do know we have research up here too, so. Uh, let's see. Fantome? Yes, please. Uh, better light tanks, yes, please. That'd be good. There you go, do something like that. There you go. Oh, Lushi's gone. Goodbye, Lushi. Well, there's a lot of red, and this is a good way to kill off your allies' manpower. Don't always advocate for that, but sometimes I really do. Let's take a look. Once again, rubber autarky, 28,000 on scraping the barrel. Ooh, mama, that's not good for you. Oh, baby. But they're not mobilizing it either, so. That is really bad, especially with all the supply issues here. I mean, it's just looking god awful. If this was me, I'd probably be raging at it, but it's not me, so I'm kind of okay. I'm totally okay with it. There you go. Do some of that. And I could probably integrate these guys. No. Oh, yeah, this is that one. Hey, Dassault, nice. Hey, good. Next up, let's go ahead and do... How do you... Let's more guys. Ignore the mess. Yeah, I like that one more, but... Yeah. Uh... Eh, consolidate and ignore the mess. I just want to do that one just because we get more local pony power and compliance growth speed versus one more max factories in the state. 
Eh, give more resources. We did this one for... Well, let's do the Consolidate the Farm Land, just because we did this one, which decreases the time needed. The current situation of land ownership in Greifenmaschen is in complete disorder. In its current state, our officials can barely understand who owns what land and where the resources there are, if there are even any at all. Surveyors will be sent out to the entire region to redraw and redistribute the land and fields, which will finally bring order, some order, to this sense of chaos. We gonna need more PP. That's not very good. Oh, it's because the equalization process takes forever. Transfer. Uh, we can go and transfer things to Griffin, St Griffin Stone. That's fine. Establish the Evi Confederation? Sure, why not? There you go. Cool. And they're led by Valerian Eovenu. Alright. And they're led by Venusta Agrella. Oh, yeah, that's right, yeah. Oh, wait, is this. Oh. Oh, they're in a faction right now. Okay. Huh. Alright, whatever. Y'all are ready to go, huh? Y'all are definitely ready to go. Let's do this. Oh, we can see some stuff here. That'd be kind of cool. Let's wait. Maybe get another capital ship, maybe? We'll see what happens, maybe? We'll see. Oh, 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 what's going on down here? Something down there is going on. And I kind of want to know what's going on down here. Oh, baby. Okay, not too much yet. We got a lot of battleships. Because some heavy cruisers. Sink them, boys. Sink them. Oh, that's so nice. God, I love the naval combat. It's not very much at all. I should really play something like, uh, what was it? World of Warship sometime. Uh, what happens if we just take them all out like that? Cool. You guys did great. Oh. So, now we have to naval invade. Oh, a new day. That's cool. Yeah, better cruisers. Or, uh, carriers, I should say. Get some of that, too. Yeah, we'll go up and do... This one. If you want to build up, please go ahead, but a new day. The feather curling a litany of curses that filled the air could have be heard from one end of the village through another as Rhymer shoved in the inn, the iron spit in between the two logs of his cabin, slowly prying them apart. Logs that had laid together as part of his home for decades were, were now taken apart. And for what? He looked up as he heard the noise in the background and glared daggers at the surveyor's car as it came rumbling through the village. Someone noticed a figure in the corner of his eyes, and as he wiped the sweat out of his eyes, he glared at the surveyor that was the cause of all this. I heard the surveyor shaft you, he heard his neighbor Helmut say, and looked up to the griff. When the surveyor had come to the village, he had promptly divided up the field between them, local farmers. Before, they had shared the fields among each other, each taking a small strip of every field as they had for centuries. Yet now, as all cut up, one farmer got the whole field. Helmut had gotten the fields closest to the village, yet Reiner's field lay over 20 miles away. Thought of selling? Heard they gave pretty good prices? Yes, and I told that turd in a suit that he could grab glue, smear it on his beak, and kiss a dragon's booty. Reimer responded, It's my darn land, and I'm not giving it up. I don't give a darn if I have to rebuild my home out in the marshes. I'll do it and screw them all. Meanwhile, the prospector sat in the car, comparing the maps of the area before and after his work. The confusing jumble of lines and markers were gone, replaced by a logical and fair grid of fuels, easily evaluated and transferred. He leaned back with a small smile, feeling a sense of deep contentment. It had been an absolutely nightmarish for a few weeks, but it was done, and he could rest content with his labors. Finally, some good sense around here. Nice. Oh, I don't want to nearly invade, but hopefully we don't have to, actually. You guys, no, you guys, you're, you guys are pretty darn fast, right? Uh, how do you do this? Each one of you guys are going to do something like this. Just navally invade? We should be able to do that. We should be able to do okay with that. But who knows? I could be very wrong. I could be extremely wrong about that, actually. And by doing this, we should be able to capitulate them. Should, should, they should. Go ahead whenever you can. And what are the results? Death for the enemies. Nice. How are they doing? These divisions should be really taking an extreme amount of hits right now. They really should be. You know what? How about we grab some more dockyards? I love building stuff up, don't get me wrong, but go to and get some more civvies as well, because we could probably honestly use them. Ah, let's go get two civvies, why not? Oh, the River Federation is done. No, oh, that's very good. Cryptology, let's do them and then do them, them, them. Not bad. Not bad. More divisions? Sure, why not? Oh, you filled up to the max, huh? There you go. And there he goes well. Mirage. Oh, that's a little bit ahead of town. Let's not do that one just yet. Hey, modern artillery. We love it. We absolutely love it. Hey, we got him. You know what? Screw it. I'm just going to take it because we can. And then I'm going to probably be taking everything anyway, so. Cool. That looks really bad, honestly. So, you guys head on back over here. If you can. Nope, no more ships there. That's, that kind of sucks, but whatever. I do have upgrades over here, actually. 
Torpedo Expert. Eh. Is there anything else? No, just go to Torpedo Expert then. That's fine. Improve depth charges and get some of that too. Nice. Well, since you're over here anyways, you can take that off. Maybe go right there. Maybe potentially... Go and repair if you need to. That's fine for now. Now, these guys look like they're slowly losing. Which looks pretty good for us. Let them lose, let them lose, let them lose. I don't care. They're not mobilizing anymore, which is nice as well. And we can do that too. Oh, reestablish Assyria? Yeah, begin the integration of a lot of these places. Yes, yes. Yes. And then, uh... Yeah, we already did that with that. Beautiful, my friends. Reestablish Asterion. Hey, it's some military factories. I'm not sure what to do with you guys, so... Yeah, there you go. The Republic of Asterion is led by... Chrisley Avgi. Nice. You can't do anything down there. The Quillian Bomber Fleet. There you go. Cool. Oh, we're actually seeing this. Oh, because of that, they actually naval invaded it. Look at that. Kind of impressed. I'm kind of impressed, not gonna lie. And you guys are where at? You guys are still over there, which is totally fine. 100 killer groups, good. Keep going down with some of that stuff over there, too. And for you guys, who are we justifying on right now? Because we are going to justify pretty much on everyone else we can. No one else. God dang it, I should not have been wasting my time like that. How many? How much manpower do you have? Uh, who's not part of a faction right here? Oh, you guys are not. Oh, 25 days. I love that. So quick and short. And Rumer as well. Don't want to forget Rumer. Let's got a little bit more manpower. That's really actually really kind of good. We're no longer mobilizing, but fine, whatever. Yeah, these guys are struggling. Both sides are struggling here so much. We've only lost 19,000. We personally killed off only 100,000, so. These guys are dying so hard and fast. It's so good. They're out of manpower, so. It's pretty nice to see for us. Shot down two enemy planes. That's good, good, good. So at this point, we could probably go ahead and stop making so many of these divisions. Cool. Rumer, you're next. You should be able to just go on in and just do whatever we need to. Not really too worried about that one. Very good, very good, very good. I think up next we're going to go to war these guys as well. Ooh, better destroyers, nice. But we're not ready to do that without advanced light batteries. Going bomber fleet. Well, let's do some fighter craft modernization. Nice. Well, they lost 200,000. We enjoyed that. Alright, so to go to war with these guys, I'm just going to take you guys. Oh, no, you guys. Yes, you guys. Uh, just do this. Let them completely come on out, and we'll encircle and destroy them that way. That'll make it so much easier than what we normally have to do. And transfer them to Griffinstone. Nice. Makes it easier for us. Oh, uh, we need to work with more people here. Work the party. Yeah, let's go do that one. That's fine. Over there. No, no. Ooh, Romero. Very, very good. Very, very good. Oh, keep sinking them. Keep sinking them. Or don't don't get killed. That's also very important. Just don't get killed. Hey, ships. Goodbye. 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 Oh, they're coming out. Oh, they actually took some more territory over. Yes, let them struggle even more. I love watching them squirm and struggle. Ooh. Fine, whatever. Doesn't matter too much. Actually, let's come over here and work with the PDNA because we could use them. Oh. Let them come on out. That'll be good. No, 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 guys. Please, let, please, please, please let them come over. Please let them come over. Seriously, let them come over. This is the only way we're going to win. I've done this like three times already. I know how to do this, Wing Barty. Please leave us alone. Actually, we haven't done any of this stuff. Are we using castle or bombers? I think we're using bombers, yeah. Yeah, since we have so much air XP, we want to do this first. Alright, after this one, then we'll come back over here and not do that. We'll go ahead and do some of this stuff. Nice. Improved rubber stuffs. Uh, go and grab some of that. Why not? Oh yeah, Wing Barty. Our allies can't really hold the line. So then we'll come up to the front and just wallop them as hard as possible. Guys. Guys, please, please, for the love of God, please, just, just leave, please. Sun donor, nice. Um, let's go to this one. 
And we'll go with form the commandant this operations especials. Nice. Advanced side batteries, good. Nice. Yep, let's do that one next, because we can. Cool. We need more naval stuff, don't we? We really do. Still, no capital ships, which sucks. Well, if you guys don't want to do anything, then I'm taking you guys out. And up here, we're going to take out these guys first, probably. And we're going to open up the combat with, or open up the front a little bit more. God, we're really good at killing off our own allies. We're really good at that. And then maybe we'll just push in. So we'll take out those three in the north, we'll take out these guys, take out these guys, and then take out these guys and call it a campaign, probably. More divisions? Not bad, not bad. Are we good to go, everyone? Looks like we mostly are. Not bad. Uh, make more civvies. We could probably use more so we can build up more stuff here, too. Uh, not much there. Not bad. Go ahead and do some of this as well. Chance to receive critical hit goes down, which would be very, very good. No capital ship yet. Whatever. Go ahead and go home and heal. Save some PP for now. Force rotations. Do that anyways. And work with the pat. That would be nice. And we'll come over here and grab some of this, too. Keep going, keep going. And are we going to war with Farbrook? No, what the heck? Alright then, well, it's your choice. Either come and help with your allies now, or we, you know, well, I guess your former allies. Or, or you'll die die together, die separately. You're stronger when you die together, but... Hey, it's fine with us. Work with the FJAA, and then we'll do the Aquilia Institute of Aerodynamics. Very good. Wow, how many died over here? Grand Cliff, 45,000, huh? Not bad. Are they at war now, too? Oh, don't get me wrong. That's fine with me. Grand Cliff? Oh, they're over there. Oh, that sucks. That's They're all over there. That's really sucky. Oh, modern tanks. Actually, you know what? I think we'll, we'll be okay with whatever we got. I don't feel like making those. I'll go and do that as well, and we'll go to war with these guys as well. Just to make sure that we can make sure that the, our allies aren't really that strong, and making these guys even weaker too. Actually, how long would it take for us to do this at the same time? Ah, uh, 70 days, not too bad. How, how good are we down south? Actually, we gotta keep doing this stuff too. Um, there you go, that's fine. Eh, we're doing okay. No, we're, we're okay, guys. We're okay. Uh, do we want to throw anything here yet? Yeah, we probably need to get more. We will need some more manpower eventually. But let's do infantry support craft next. No, nope, increase military spending. While the Empire may have been beaten, Aquilia must remain vigilant. While there are still nations on both on Griffonia and the world at large which could seek our downfall. Therefore, more funding must be allocated to the armed forces so we are already are always ready to fight against our future enemies. We lose some political power to get more recruitable population though, which is good. And we'll grab some Karim de Decker. And there you go. And there you go. And then work. Fighter baiting is nice. Let's grab some of that too. Have we won yet? That'd be nice. Yes? No? Okay. Give a little bit more time. Oh, what is going on up here? Let's see. Still, no. Gosh, darn. Capital ships. What the heck, guys? There you go. That should do everything that we need right now. As long as we get up there fast enough, we should be able to sink everything they've got. Three more destroyers go bye-bye. Uh-oh. Ah, very good. We can still get a heavy cruiser. Not the part of the fleet yet, but we'll get there. We'll get, definitely get there. Far book is gone. That's nice. And our allies will actually probably take those guys out, too. Ooh, that'd be so good. That would be so good. Oh, boy. Task forces just go bye-bye. God, I love having a great navy. Oh, it's so nice. Everything they have is just going to die. And we love it. Great. Let's go ahead and do bomb, bomber escort craft. 
Even more piercing shells? Even more attack? Yes, yes, yes. Oh, say it so, everyone. Say it so. Nice. And go ahead and improve the infrastructure here as well. Super important. There you go. Tons and roads and such. I do want to go out to war with these guys as well. Not bad, not bad. Can you guys go ahead and just go right on in, maybe? Very soon, maybe. Maybe not yet, but very, very soon. Our allies should be able to hopefully enable invade in here, but give us give some give them some time. They'll be fine. Ah, finally, some more. Finally, we get some capital ships here. Finally, 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 and get some more organization. Oh, it's so good. Wow, we need way more naval bases for this. Maybe, maybe not. Oh, we're doing okay though. Oh, we actually lost the destroyer. Oh, that sucks. Firefighting drills. Well, that wouldn't happen if we had firefighting drills, man. Uh, nine damage. Let's do that one. Landing craft would be good. Convoy sailing. Let's do some of that too. Well, I think we're pretty much good and ready to go. Let's see what we can do about this. Tanks? An ally tank, which means nothing to me, really. Now, throwing our air support in here, too. We should do relatively well. We can hopefully start pushing into the River Co Federation. Not Coalition, but River Federation. They have a little bit of manpower. They actually raised a conscription level. That's not good. You guys are doing the last stand in some areas, it looks like. Maybe not. But we'll see. We definitely got a lot of air around here. Oh, are we out of stuff? Oh, we're out of medium tanks. That sucks. Oh, what happened over here? Four destroyers went bye-bye. Ah, no one we're out of tanks. We just made some more. Beautiful. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. We could use a little bit more steel. Let's come back over here and then do that and then work. And war propaganda, we could do that probably. And maybe we could lower this. Yes, the limit exports would be very good. Now let's go ahead and see what else we can do. I think at the bottom, let's do some cruiser development. We lost some manpower already, which is fine, whatever. These guys should die off very soon. Wow, we're not even near the top. The king of wing... Oh, there goes the king. Long live the king. Three, two, one, let's go! And help us out as well. Let's throw these guys all around here too. Agents all over the place. Go, go, go. Oh, Diamond Mountain's gone. That's nice. Oh, Winged Bardias actually did. They have landed. That's nice. Or no, it was our ally, actually. Or their ally. Our puppet, but whatever. Alright, just sailing through the north is very good. Hey, we've done a quarter million damage. Nice. Cancel Lonely, so that's fine, whatever. Uh, big battle? Big battle? No, it's a small battle. Oh, that's fine, whatever. Nice, thank you. Y'all are just kind of hanging out here, which is kind of nice. Just, you know, hanging out. Let everyone else kill themselves off. Hey, you know, sick man. Look at that. Now that's not bad. Work with the FJA. That'd be nice. You know, the Riverlands? Oh, uh, let's do that after this war's over. I think that'd be cool if we could do that. I don't want to screw things up too badly here. Oh, my goodness. Well, we definitely went back to the top. We cut off half a million. Wing Barty's done a great job with this. So far. And they've even invaded too. Look at that. Oh, crap. Look at that. They've been sinking a whole lot of our stuff. Not for long, you son of a guns. So many ships are getting repaired. Wow. That's all we really needed to do was that. Cancel on these. All right. Cruiser development. And the provinces, or Les Griffin's Marshes. With the various issues settled, Griffin Marsh and now Les Griffin's Marshes can finally become a full state of Aquilia. Once the Aquila faction of the region is completed, uh, oh, the Fall of Lake City, <clears throat> this bed of republicanism will be p become one with a glorious nation. Hetzel and Blues will be gone, which is nice. Alright, so in the meantime, you guys are just hanging out. We gotta definitely get ready for this group. And then kill off Wing Body ourselves. Because that is the last major group here that we gotta take out. Besides these guys. Because we can't really take out these guys too much, but whatever. I'm wondering our allies can take up that, that hill pact. Because I really don't want to have to nearly invade. These guys are really just dead at this point. Stockpile is probably not great, but probably not too bad. Oh, yeah, probably went. Oh. River Federation. Oh, we don't have them done. Okay. Whatever. Keep going. Keep going. Now we've done almost a million ourselves, which is very cool. Awesome. And we're doing the Floating Fortress Doctrine. Cool. Guys, if you could please navally invade more correctly, that'd be great. 
And that's going to reach us to find these guys too. It's fine. 30 days, not bad. Landing craft is good. Get some more just in case. We'll probably have to end up using them. Can you guys stop just throwing your guys away, please? That'd be very good. Oh, what can, do we, what can we do here? Yes. And come over here and do that immediately. Integration, yes. Integration, yes. Integration, yes. And to push deputies, why not? Nice. Please tell me you landed six. Oh my gosh, you guys just dummies. Big dum dums. How much more do we need to take these guys out? Would you guys like to come to Rizzo Kukurad? Hey, is that it? Hey, it's it. Nice. I'm going to do this off screen real quick. All right, everyone. So here we're at. We're, we've just literally invaded Griffinheim or Grencliff here. So not too bad. Not too bad. Um, and I've already gone ahead and liberated the River Federation under the rifle leader of Sunrise Shield. He's a dictator. He gives him more political power too. But we will go to war with the Commonwealth of Evi pretty darn soon. Not yet. Just because, well, we're trying to finish these guys off so we can have this type of beast deal here as well. Which will be very, very good. All right. We couldn't quite invade there, which kind of sucks, but whatever. Um, we did do force attack, I believe. And let's do some infantry support and craft as well. And also we can take over the faction now. Let's take over the faction. Nice. Now we are the faction leaders here. Cool, it keeps spreading out, guys. If we get Bugsmere or Bugsmare, that'd be very bueno. I guess it's great. Good job, guys. All right, let's go and do that. Hey, we got him. We got him, everyone. But now we got to go back to war with the Commonwealth and then take out our allies and call it a campaign. Not bad. Coalition detractions. Oh, and we actually do this too. Let's give it to our ally. Thank you. All right. Very nice. Wee! All the way up there. This is a big old area we got to cover. Not bad, though. Not too bad. All right, so you guys did great. Boom, 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 boom. Did boom, boom, boom. We go. Go and heal up as well. That'd be nice. Uh, let's see. Mountaineers, no, that's not ours. No, 1.52 every single day. And transfer a lot of these places over. Yeah, that's fine. I don't want to deal with the manpower issues here. Yeah, we lose some industry, but it's fine. Whatever. Cool. We're doing pretty well. We have no PP, though, which is a big problem. Big problem with no PP. Oh, boy. Uh, go back down to five. Go back down to five. Share the wealth. Share the wealth. We don't need that much wealth, honestly, here. So, uh, Fighters, go down to ten so we can share the wealth down here as well. Cool. Advanced landing craft. Let's go and grab some. Uh, we don't really need that one. Let's grab this one. Less critical hits. Or fewer critical hits, I should say. You guys have only three. You guys are doing okay around there. Just do that. And we're going to go ahead and call all of our allies in. We should do relatively okay here, especially with our allies. Especially killing off our own allies as manpower. So, there you go. We're not going to begin the attacks. No, 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 no. You crazy, you think we are. Do they still have manpower? No, they don't. No, they don't. But we do. All right, let's see what we can do. There's going to be a definitely a mixed bag. Some places are good, some places are not so good. That's got to be dropping harder than this. Come on, man. 1.2. We've lost how many? 50,000 versus 100... Uh, 300,000, that's not terrible. Let's grab some of that too. Infantry, support craft. And this one... Eh, that's almost okay. I prefer this one. Air speed already plus 5%. It's not too bad. Cool. What's going on down here? A destroyer's been sunk. Awesome. Another early destroyer's been sunk. Awesome. Keep going all the way in. Very, very nice. Very, very cool. And some more divisions. Oh, actual tank divisions. Nice. Very good. Do you have any upgrades, actually? That'd be good to have. Upgrades are always nice. Yes. No. Okay. And the fit? No. Okay, then. Anything over there? Maybe. No. Okay. Big disappointments, but whatever. And over here. Hey, some dest destroyers and convoys. Nice. So we lost 100,000. Close to 100,000. We've killed out 600,000 of them, though. That number just getting racked up. Hundreds of thousands of people just getting destroyed every single day. Now we love it. No, guys, we're good. I'll take your manpower, though. I could use a puppet division, but at this point, we have enough manpower anyways. Shield dies are good. And get some more of this stuff. Why not? More light piercing. It's not going to help us that much, but that's fine. Actually, how many divisions do I have left? 163? We've literally killed off a million ourselves, so. Not bad. Not too bad at all. Convoys, convoys, probably convoys. Yeah, very nice. 
Ah, uh, overrunning those guys. I love it. 1.74 million. Can we make it 2 million? 2 million before we end? 2 million? Come on. There's plenty enough soldiers here to die. Plenty enough soldiers. 1.1? Come on. 1.4? 1.84? Come on. Come on. Oh, we, they just lost another... Oh, 100,000. Oh, come on. We're so close. 2 million. 2 million. Oh, we hit 2.16. Oh, that's so nice. Oh, yeah. 2.2, 2.2, 2.2, 2.2. Oh, I like that number. Supplies are actually very bad. Hey, 2.23 million. Very good. Thank you very much. Let's go ahead and work with the Pidna. Do that. And uh, transfer everything over to what do we need to. Very good. So this way we don't have to do the resistance ourselves. And we have to finish this campaign doing what we... What I originally wanted it to do for us. So. Cool. Now that makes those guys very strong. Um, have you guys come back over here. And let's take a look. Now we're known as the Carthinian Pact for us. But once we leave this group, what will happen? That's my question. Let's go and train as well. We definitely need more army XP for this stuff. Cryptology. Come back over here. Because I still would like to get some carriers, but I don't think we'll be able to make any at this point, so. Let's time go on. There you go. Alright. Hangar space. That's nice. But, we gotta go with the lost Lone Eagle. The Quilly will need friends to stand strong in the future. This much is certain. While an unusual choice are best options to ally ourselves with the new Hetzlan Republic. A state carved out of the old empire. While he's technically a, still a client state of ours, it is a potential to become much more if we invest in it, which is very true. Uh, I'll get some deck armor. I like a little bit of deck armor just because it makes me feel a little bit better. Uh, it's more like a glass cannon. Ah, screw it. You know what? I, I always do deck armor. Just because if it gets hit, it's basically dead. At least in my opinion, it's basically dead. Eh, not basically dead, but it's very close to dying. Of course, if you throw on more planes, though, you should do okay. But there's no guarantee that you do okay. So I usually like getting a little bit of deck armor. That's always me. I don't want to lose ships. I really hate losing ships. So we're doing all that stuff. That's nice. Let's get some more of these guys. We need even more. There you go. Does that time go on for now? Expand the roads. That's good, good, good. Work with the pat. That's awesome, awesome, awesome. And let's get ready to do whatever we need to. Cool. Uh, planes probably too. Get some better planes. 47 days is not too bad, actually. You guys. I'm not sure where we're going to send you guys, but maybe something like this. For now. And go ahead and train as well. Do we need any more planes for ourselves? One, two, three, four. Duplicate. Boom, boom. Boom, boom. There you go. There you go. Small caliber shells. Just do that as well. That's fine. Do we have any more battleships yet? Not yet. And that's okay. We have so many guys, man. So many. The Lone Eagle. In which we will go ahead and do the Murat plan. The war with the Empire has left Hefsun's industry and economy shambles to fix us. Our economists have proposed the Murat plan, which involves sending economic aid and stimulus to the Hefsun Republic in order to quickly <clears throat> recalibrate its or rebuild its ailing economy. This will allow the reborn nation to once again become competitive in the international markets. Very good. And keep doing this stuff just because we can. Just because we can. Alright, whip the party. Let's do that one first. Very cool. And after that, we'll bolster the Hetzlandish Republicanish God. The new Hetzland military is, to put it lightly, woefully inadequate. It will require a major expansion to once again become a modern force. And to this end, we will send aid in for the form of military assistance to help remodernize and recreate their army. Very good. Go ahead and grab some of this. Because we're using tactical bombers, grab some of that. And we're going to go and grab some of this as well. That'll be good. Fighters 2s, Fighters 3s, we're getting some casts. They're really tactical bombers, but whatever. Medium tanks, you can lower it by like, that much for now. That'll be okay. 16 is not too bad. Anti-air is looking pretty good. Just make sure we have the best equipment on everything. Except for modern tanks. I'm too lazy to put modern tanks on, so do that anyways. Murat plan. And let's go whip the party. Whip, whip, whip. And liberate liberators, not imperialists. Now that the Hetzland Republic can stand on its own two claws, it is finally time to let it take its place in the world as a new independent Republican Entente. Our sister republic will stand tall beside us as a bastion of freedom and liberty on the continent. I'll have to do this one too. A motion is put, put, put forward to form the Group de Intervention de la Gendarmerie Nationale, or GIGM, an elite tactical unit of the army. Its roles will mainly include special operations in foreign countries and targeting crime in the nation. It will also serve as protection for critical sites and government officials to defend against foreign intrusions. Very cool. It she really shouldn't take that long for us to take out the guys down south of us. But I could be very wrong, especially if we begin to just uh, 
say, hey guys, see you later. Oh, uh, yeah, actually, that's not too bad. Oh, we did lose them because we were no. Oh, wait, hmm. All right, whatever. Uh, something like that. Cool. cool. How about you guys? Oh, uh, you're oh, you're a vassal of them. That's fine. Whatever. They've caused a lot of issues here. One sixty. Why? Why is that so much? Why is that seriously so much? Wow. Maybe they don't like us when we take out our own allies. That's probably why. Well, maybe we will get a carry by the time we're done here. Maybe it won't be too bad, though. Loaded by five, just in case. Nice, and form the GIGN, which would be very nice. More special forces stuff. Very cool. And unite Carthinia. Yeah, we definitely want to do that one. Work with the Pigna. Why not? That stuff is good. Jet engines. Let's come over here and grab some more research speed. Thank you. And what do we have down here? Medical attack bombers? Yes, please. You guys go right there, but not really, because two of you, one of you guys is going to go right there. No, or right there. We only need five divisions more. That'll be good, 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 good. And really, three more. So really, let's go do that, and then, uh, no, do one. No. Two, two. Let's go two more, and go with one. That'll be nice. Hey, dockyards. Nice. Get some carriers, though, because those take forever to make. Do we have any extra spare shipperinos, maybe? No. Let's go and start doing that, too. That's fine. Do that, too. And do that. And then do that. Knight division. Very good. We need four more divisions. One. Uh, that's okay for now. And then liberators, not imperialists. Kind of sucks, but whatever. Uh, goodbye. Level four is good. Level four is good. Torpedo launcher. Anti-aircraft is good. Useful emergency pups. I know I could just I could stop the game, but now nah, I'm, I'm okay for now. There you go. Not bad. And let's go ahead and do some of that too. The Tempest, and go with that one too. There you go. And just in case, do that one as well. Nice. We're gonna need more steel, huh? That kind of sucks. That do be kind of sucking. Goodbye. Nope, we don't need you here. Let's see what happens. Are we going to lose support? It should automatically do it since we have more than enough PPU anyways right now. One day. So, it does it automatically. Even though we did technically lose one seat, which kind of sucks, but whatever. Oh, and the li we're liberators, not imperialists. There you go. The Hatsun Republic. Still led by the same group, but they're still our allies, for now at least. There you go. And we're going to come over here and do some of this too. More soft attack. Oh, do we have another focus? Oh, it's probably up here. Oh, okay, then that was kind of unexpected. Oh, yeah, we can do this stuff. I forgot about this one. Yeah, on our own. Prepares for the great struggle. That is a bad idea, guys. If I've ever seen a bad idea, why would you do that? At least let's get into the war so we can, like, annex them. I just want to have the puppet. Oh, we're going to have 40 days of just watching them die. Oh, no, 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 no. Guys, why did you go to war with them? I mean, they do have a little bit of manpower, but jeez. With the party? We could, but poach deputies, probably. Oh, my goodness. I just want to unite Carthinia. Oh, man. Dumb mistakes, man. Just incredibly dumb mistakes. Come on, let's get to the war as fast as possible now. Do we have four days left? No, we don't. God dang it. You pieces of garbage. You'd rather die at the hands of the of the equestrians than us. Why? Francois Davout. Very good. Oh my goodness, please. Why? Why did you do that, guys? No, they shouldn't fall until we get into war, it looks like. So, we've got a little bit more than a week. Oh, and we can do this one too, probably. Oh, over the port. Oh, oh. Are you kidding me? We waited this long for that. No. Give me at least something here. I'm... Oh, that's so disappointing. Just give me this. I just want to see what... Wh who's led... Who's led by it. There you go. Can we do this now? You know, Carthini. Okay, cool. Because I don't... I, I just don't want to go to war. I don't want to do this and go to war. So... Oh. Alright, so we have... Genesia Montalto. 
I mean, I could go to war with them, but that I don't. I really don't want to do that. That's so disappointing that we can't do that because they just went to war with the Equestrian's puppet. Also, why can we never go to war with these guys? They're a detached country. What does that mean? I really don't know what that means. But since we're here, I guess eh, we could finish it up. We already know what this is about. So, the wait, we go to war with the Quillian Republic ourselves. But I guess that's going to be the campaign, everyone. We could take them out, but oh well. If you enjoyed the video, though, leave a like, subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow in another campaign. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.